So in this part we are also going to cover the implicit intent and we are going to be making uh, another app that's that demonstrate the use of implicit intent. Okay, so start a new Android Studio project and let me rename this as second in, in implicit implicit intent demo. So hit next and then again hit so yep hit hit next and then go for empty activity and hit next again and finally finish so it is loading at first i want to remove this hello world pro hello world text view and place a button at the center of the screen and name rename the text as go to google now the aim of this project is is that whenever i click this uh, button it should go to the google.com and for this i need to write the functionalities in main activity.java file so first thing that i want to do is button button and i'm going to reference this button find view dot button and all plus enter cast this and the next thing that i need to the next thing that i need to do is have have this set on click listener on this button and pass the parameter as this and implement the on set on uh, implement the on click listener and override the method on click method show and I'm going to have the switch case here get ID and case as r dot id dot button and break now whenever this button is click this piece of code is going to run and in here I'm going to create the intent and intent equals new intent it is going to be intent intent dot so it should be intent dot action view dot uri oops, uri dot parse and head is it should be our string name http as www.google.com and then I need to start this activity start activity intent and we are basically done let me hit run select system button and choose my emulator hit ok Okay, here is our emulator and the Android Studio is installing the APK and Android Studio has successfully installed the APK in our emulator and here is our app. Okay, so by default the emulator provided by the Google has only one browser. So whenever I click this button it should directly open our default browser. So let me hit this button so and it is directly going to open open the google so it is you can see there so i'm going to click the back back button and come up to our activity of our app now if there are two browser it should going to it should ask us to it should ask which browser to choose so in my um, so i'm going to build the apk of our app and going to install this app in my blue stack where I have two browser and whenever I click that button it should ask, ask which browser to choose so here is our APK and let me click in show in explorer and it is going and it is going to show this folder so since I have already installed blue stack I just need to double click this APK to install and it is installing 
okay here is our app in bluestack so whenever i click this button it should ask the uh, which browser to choose and i have two browser here okay let me click this button and yes it is going to ask for me which browser to use for completing this action so i'm going to you go go for default browser here as well so just once and it is going to that browser okay so this is how we can use the implicit intent and i hope as of now you have got the basic understanding of implicit intent so another last so just a reminder that into implicit intent is used whenever whenever we we don't know when we don't know which activity to call or which action to call action to call and it is which action to call and all the, and the rest of the task is handled by android operating system okay so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next part